wasn't that long ago. In fact, just last year, Donna Brazile was a dutiful soldier for the Democratic Party. In fact, she ran it. Now, a year after that party's election defeat, she is sticking a knife in Hillary Clinton. In a piece in Politico today, taken from her forthcoming book, Brazil describes how Clinton engineered a, quote, secret takeover of the Democratic National Committee. Brazil says Clinton's campaign was effectively funded by the DNC, even though it was supposed to preside neutrally, the DNC was, over the Democratic primary race. Tezan Figaro was a staffer for the Bernie campaign. She may have suspected something like this was going on. Now she knows for sure, and we couldn't resist getting her reaction to it. Tezan, great to see you. I remember Thank months ago, a year ago, you said you believe something like this was afoot. How do you feel now that you know you were right? Oh, you better believe what we said it a, a year ago, repeatedly over and over and over. And folks just like to pretend that we were asking them to believe in Santa Claus um, as if we were just completely delusional uh, when we've said over and over that the system was rigged. And this is, again, it's important to remember, Tucker, that I actually worked on the national campaign, traveled all over the country for seven years. So I, I wasn't just sitting back on Twitter being a Twitter warrior or a Facebook bandit. These were things that we were actually seeing out in the field that we knew to be true. And so now that the chickens have finally come home to roost, uh, like we're saying around here in Houston, it looks like she's earned history uh, and did something that no other candidate has done uh, through presidential elections. Not only did they uh, give her the uh, the money, she gave the DNC the money to buy the cookies, she baked the cookies, bought the cookies, ate the cookies in the cookie jar, and it's pretty clear on who had control of the party. So me, Sanders supporters, and surrogates are all sitting around this evening saying, I told you so. As a lifelong Democrat, how does it make you feel that your party, according to Donna Brazil, rigged a primary election? I mean, it made me feel the same way that I did when I initially joined the campaign. Um, you know, like you and I have talked before previously, uh, I went to the independent side because I joined the Bernie Sanders campaign, not because I'm a socialist, because I'm not. I joined him because I wanted someone to speak up against the establishment. So it feels right. the same way that it did in 2008 and 2010 and 2012. And now this is just we have the evidence uh, to finally show what we've been talking about this entire time. Kind of obvious, though, in retrospect, I mean, do you really think in a free and fair open primary of all the potential Democratic candidates, Hillary Clinton, who lost in 2008 in the same scenario, would have been chosen as the nominee? You know, I think that the way it was set up with Bernie Sanders not having the name recognition that he did, that did hurt him in some respects. Right. But to look at people who didn't even know who Bernie Sanders was to now be, according to some polls, one of the most popular politicians in America, um, a lot of more ground could have been made. But, Tucker, we actually went, particularly in the South, um, I was a national racial justice director, and we went to churches, we went to local communities that wouldn't even give us the time of day, not even a appointment to even share our platform. So I right. can't say what it would have been, um, whether he would have won the nomination or won the presidency. What I do know is that he did not receive a fair shot, just like the people who ran on the state level didn't receive a fair shot, that all the money was pulled to the Hillary Clinton campaign, in addition to the President Obama campaign. Uh, Donna Brazile was very clear. And we have to ask ourselves, why would Donna Brazile, a 30-year veteran in the game, turn on her establishment friends? I'm looking to see more that's going to come out uh, out of this scandal. Well, she's coming on this show next week, and she'll tell us. I hope you'll be watching. Tesla Figaro, thanks a lot for coming oh, on. Oh, I will. Thank you.